Um, okay, so we have a uh, be honest moment to begin with. Hands up if you had chocolate for breakfast. Oh, not, not as many as them. There were lots of hands this morning. Okay. Um, now, this week in What Homeschool, we didn't focus on so much on music but on art. And um, the kids have all drawn a picture for us, so I'm just going to ask them what they've got here. Candy, what have you got? What have, a group of people. We've got Reese, what have you got? A group of people. And Haddles, what have you got? A group of people. So lots of people drawing this week in art. Elias, what have you got, mate? A sign representing God. What, why, why have you got that one and why is yours different? You're not good at drawing people, so there we go. Um, now, just as we start to get into the message, I need two helpers. So Georgie and Andrew, do you think you can come up and help us? Okay, if you can just stand, one of you just stand in between Kennedy and Elias. The other one, Georgie, you can stand between the girls. Now, this morning, I want you to listen really carefully at the start of Bernard's sermon. He's going to talk to us about the state of the world, and he's going to share with us that we live in a broken world. There's lots of pain and hurt, and there's lots of bad stuff going on. Um, so I want you to listen carefully for that. Now, who can tell me, though, is that there's, there's a word, like, why do we have a broken, word, a broken world? Can anyone tell me? Why do we live in a broken world? There's something that causes it. Sin. Good job. Yes, that's right. Here we <laughs> Now, I'm going to. So, as you can see here, sin is a barrier. It separates us from God, it separates people from God, and it also it separates us from God because God is holy and we are not. And, and also, it separates people from people. So, uh, who's upset someone today? Re- Reese and Hadley, have you got your hands up? So yes, we also have sin because sin hurts. We every time we sin against another person, it hurts, and so it separates us from other people as well. But there is good news, isn't there? So what time of year is it? Easter. That's right. And we learned on Friday from Mary about um, all the things that Jesus did for us on the cross, about what He accomplished. And in fact, this morning we shared that reassurance verse is one of our favourites as a family to remember that um, Romans five eight. God shows his love for us and that while we were still sinners, that Jesus died for us. So while we were still sinners, Jesus died for us. So, the, and, and the good thing about that is that that's not how nothing we do, we don't do any good behaviour for, for Jesus to have died for us. We don't earn that in any way. It's while we were still sinners, Jesus died for us and he covered our sin. So um, Jesus' death on the cross covers our sin. It covers our sin so that we can have a relationship with God. So Andrew is representing Jesus here, which mends our relationship with God. It restores us. There is no barrier. Our sins are forgiven. So God sent Jesus so that we can have peace with him. Now, in today's passage, we're also going to hear that Jesus sends the disciples out to be peacemakers. Now, everyone in this room is also a disciple of Jesus. So we have to do the same thing. We have to go out and be peacemakers with other people, which can sometimes be a bit tricky, can't it, kids? Yeah, it can. So, but today is Easter Sunday, which means what? What happened three days after Jesus died on the cross? He rose. Thank you. In the back there. So Jesus rose from the dead. And so this is my drawing of an empty empty tomb. I'm very proud of it. Um, we will be hanging this one up on the wall when we get home. <laughs> and so Jesus rose from the dead. The tomb is empty. Hooray. And he beat death because Jesus is so powerful. Now, the power, that same power that rose Jesus from dead is also is, is in us. And we can read in Romans 8.11, the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Now that, spirit, that, that power comes from the Holy Spirit, the helper that Jesus gave us to uh, battle things ourselves. So if this same power that helped Jesus raise from the dead is also in us, then that's going to make being peacemakers a lot easier. So we don't have to be controlled by sin. So I'm going to put this picture over this one of sin. So because Jesus died and rose again, we have everything we need to overcome sin and we can defeat sin once and for all. Okay, so in conclusion, just to sum up, the death and resurrection of Jesus conquers all sin. We're given peace with God and we can have peace with others all because of Jesus. So that's what we remember today. Now, in the kids' sheets today, there's a couple of different ones. 
There is one um, at the start of the passage where Bernard will read, um, we learn about how that we have an empty tomb. That's what Resurrection Sunday is all about. So we learn that G- Jesus wasn't in the tomb. He rose again. So there's a couple of activities on that. Um, there's a finder word and a colouring in sh- sheet. When Jesus did rise again, he goes to his disciples. The first words he said is, peace be with you. So we will, there's um, that passage and a colouring in sheet, another colouring in sheet that just says Jesus is powerful, which again, what we've learned today. So I'll just pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Jesus. We thank you that because of his death and resurrection, we've been made right with you and that we can have peace with others. Please help us to be peacemakers. In Jesus' name, amen.